Hey everybody, it's Rob here. Today is the day in just a few hours at 11 a.m. PDT or 8 p.m. CSD, which is uh, literally in a few hours from now. Uh, we are finally getting the new developer stream for season five with the final class balance patch notes, the final changes to the uh, Infernal Horde events and new season themes that we might see and a full list on all the uniques. Adam Fletcher here, in fact, uh, confirmed this on X that we're gonna see a uh, cards for each unique before and after. And they've said this in the blog post, there is over 50 new uniques. And they are also reworking, or this also includes all the Uber uniques. See, again here, if you missed it, you still see the new Shako here, 20% cooldown reduction. And I can't wait uh, today, uh, what we will see in a few hours here, changes to the Grandfather, changes to the Endarials, changes to the Turrell's Might. Uh, to the Ring of the Starless Skies and all the other uniques. Like, that's gonna be amazing. And we're gonna have the full patch notes as well right after the dev stream, as confirmed in the blog post. Uh, furthermore, uh, Adam Jackson also uh, said it here on X that uh, the changes are completely wild. So I'm expecting this to pretty much like change the entire balance again. You know, many people have been, including myself, have been a bit sad seeing some of the barb uh, uh, nerfs and changes to the key passes. But we will see, guys. If uh, uniques such as like Ramalaldi's uh, Magnum Opus or even other like generic uniques are gonna see a wild and crazy rework and we're gonna get the full details of before and after, I'm super hyped and this might completely shift, you know, the tier list that we have already been uh, drafting up here and the class balance leading into season five. So again, the stream is gonna happen in a few hours from now. Um, it's also been confirmed here on X that we will be able to finally pre-download the patch earlier. You guys might remember last season where we basically got the patch and the season at the same time. So the season is in, uh, five days here on the 6th of august the season starts it's usually 7 p.m cest and um adam fletcher here says community manager that they are aiming uh, the morning of the 6th so it's still not the day before i would have liked the day before more but uh, we will be able to download the full seasonal patch uh, probably at the morning so at least a couple hours before it starts that's going to be a big w they already released yesterday this entire blog post and i wanted to highlight something that i didn't see in my last video and i'm hoping we get to see a bit more of this they are actually introducing a new dungeon type um, we will hopefully see the details here in a few hours. It's called the Hell Breach Dungeon that is found only in the seasonal realm and provides you a first taste of what to expect in the Infernal Horde feature. So it might be a dungeon that just has these like, you know, waves coming at you without you having to open uh, one of the Infernal Keys. And keep in mind, they significantly buff the rewards and they also buff, as you can see in this screenshots here, they buff the density by quite a lot. There's less downtime, there's big density, and who knows, I'm kind of thinking this might even be a, a valid leveling strategy. Like, you know, we've been leveling in the Helltide before, and uh, it took us seven hours to get to level 100 here. And it's uh, last season, and it's probably gonna take us just a five, six hours or something this season to reach it. So <laughs> I can't wait. And this is gonna be combined, these new dungeons, uh, is gonna be combined with some uh, experience buffs. Um, where we will basically get more experience gain up to 30 levels higher. But yeah, all the details of that will be shared soon. We're also going to get these amazing new uh, beams you may have seen for the uh, new uh, Mythic uh, uniques. But yeah, I'm really stoked to see like what these dungeons are. There's also going to be a Q&A section. So if you have any questions, uh, look at the official Diablo stream again here in just a few hours and you can ask them uh, the questions that you have. Um, but they have also shown in a video that they released here that there is going to be next to the uh, Infernal Hordes, which is a part of the seasonal theme. But you guys might remember in, in the current season, in season 4, we also had the Loot Reborn, but then on top of this we had the Iron Wolf progression, right? And here we are also getting the Mother's Gift. This is yet another like reputation system. Like now I think it's just going to be tied. This is my I guess it's going to be tied to the Infernal Hordes. So as uh, long as you like keep slaying the Infernal Hordes, basically similar to the Iron Wolves and Helltide, you will keep getting these rewards. And at the end here, there is actually an uber mythic unique uh, cash reward that is either going to give you a resplendent spark or even going to give you uber unique. So this is definitely something that is really cool. And um, you will also be able to target farm greater FX items in these uh, new modes where you have double the chances of uh, an ether to drop and you also have the final chance i think only 60 ether and there are several multipliers that we have uh, checked here in the seasonal theme that you can get with the um with the new ashes that further boost the chance to receive a legendary from the spots of hell chests in the infernal hordes 
So I'm kind of thinking that um, this is going to be an insane way to really, really target farm the items that you in particular want to get. So um, maybe we will see even more. My guess is there's going to be even more stuff. So we'll have seasonal seam is basically going to be um, the infernal hordes back to hell. We will get the mother's gift. And maybe we will even get some, you know, extra power like we got with the Holy Bolt and with the Elixir of Momentum and the Mind Cages in Season 4. By the way, the Mind Cages are staying and they are now stacking up to three times. It's going to be insane. And uh, what we will also learn, um, especially since um, Adam Jackson is going to present all these uniques that are only going to change the class balances a lot. Uh, we already got some exclusive information here from Blizzard to some content creators. And there has been a lot of changes and a lot of nerfs also to the Barb class. And we will see, cause the Barb, you know, you can have uh, 13 uh, items total. And that means we can also equip potentially here a lot of the new uniques. So we will see how this all is gonna turn out here in terms of items. Like we have Unconstrained, Walking Arsenal, Umbrella Rage and Gushing Wounds all receiving a massive nerf. But if a lot of these uh, uniques are getting some uh, juicy updates and some juicy changes, uh, it might just make up for it. And um, the Whirlwind Barb looks to be still a pretty potent build. We're also getting some new aspects there with the anger management. I already do have like a, a rough uh, tier list draft here. Obviously, I will try to keep this um, as up to date as I can after the stream. Because right now it doesn't look like Barb has anything in ST. It's more like Rogue and then the Bone Spirit Necro that gets a huge buff. But again, I'm going to link this tier list below and we will uh, keep updating this. Uh, obviously with the new um, information that we're going to get here today. And uh, yeah, it looks like Woe and Barb and other things are still very viable. And uh, who knows if this is going to exactly be uh, the way they uh, stated this a couple of weeks ago. Um, because there was a lot of feedback and we will see uh, what they may or may not change here in just a few hours. It's going to be very, very exciting. And uh, I already have a bunch of the planners that I'm also going to be uh, linking uh, below here for Season 5. We already started cooking on some of them. And I'm fully expecting, um, you know, even the uh, uniques that made it to the PTR, such as the Crown of Lucian and the Talisman and also the Shard of Virenthil, you know, to see kind of a rework. And then they also showed like a several flow shots here for the new season quest line. You guys remember we already did this on the PTR, so we already kind of know that the season quest line, uh, this also been highlighted in the blog, only starts at World Tier 3. And you're basically entering this uh, new hell portal here. I have the entire gameplay. We've been playing a whirlwind barb here. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. The graphics and stuff are, are really cool, like just getting into this, uh, you know, port, hell tide, hell event joining back to hell and I personally am just really excited what they're gonna do here with this uh, theme that is I think gonna go way past the infernal horse especially with some of the artworks uh, that they've shown here with all the giga monsters there's also like a new type of butcher that you can get in this like new mold and stuff and I'm just really excited to see what we're gonna get and what the class balance is gonna be um, I'll be there live streaming here Again, starting in just a couple hours and uh, I'll keep you guys updated with all the information. We're going to make the tier lists and we're going to make the build guides because then in just, <laughs> you know, in just five days, the season already starts. So we got to be cooking, guys. I hope you enjoyed and tune in and good luck out there. GG. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day. So come and say hi.